This is what my view be looking like. Ain't this crazy? Like, this is ridiculous. Ooh, slide into the slides. Okay. That's me right here. That's me. You're greeted with this beautiful, huge, huge refrigerator. Throw it quick. That's my song right there i just came from retention and i just want to say i really just i really just re-enlisted that, that's actually kind of crazy that i just re-enlisted and i re-enlisted for a 92 yankee so i just want to say like I'm, I'm it's crazy that that this is really happening right now like that i really got to not only uh re-enlist but get a bonus out of it to a location that i want to be into a job that i want to be at near hopefully fingers is crossed fingers is crossed Fingers just crossed that I can get my schooling in Michigan, uh, in the Midwest, because if anybody knows anything about me, I have um, people that's from Illinois. So that'll be so close to home and that'll be so easy to go home on the weekends. Like that'll be, that'll be like the perfect thing. So they gave me Utah, they go to school in, in Georgia uh, or Fort Lee. And I just told them, I just wanna go to Michigan. Send me to Michigan, they have a school in Michigan. So hopefully, fingers just crossed, I'll be able to get Michigan. I'll find this out tomorrow morning. But this is not why you decided to watch this video. I understand that. Recently, a lot of things are changing. A lot of things, a lot of things are going on in my life right now that's moving super, super fast. And I just want to take you guys on this journey before it passes me by. I just moved to this new room. Behind me is one of the best buildings. Well, one, it's better than I, what, I, what I was staying in. I was staying in, the, in the, you can call it the trenches. You can call it the, the hood. I used to stay in the hood, but now I stay I kind of, I kind of, I kind of leveled up. I kind of stay in the hotel now. So I'm gonna show you. I want to give you guys a room tour of what my room looks like. Cause not this room is worthy of a room tour. But I want to give you guys a room tour and kind of give you guys some inspiration, so you guys can kind of have a better gist of what what you can kind of expect. Some, what what housing could look like in the army. Now everybody knows in the army, housing is not perfect. It's not perfect at all. It's kind of it's kind of crappy. I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of it's kind of bad. Depending on where you are, what brigade you are, and and all those other things, but. It can be good. So I'm gonna show you what I live in. Let's get to this video. But to be honest with you, and to be honest, I gotta grab the rest of the stuff out of my car. Ugh. Do a detailed cleaning. This is what my view be looking like. Ain't this crazy? Like, this is ridiculous. The beautiful mountains of Colorado Springs. But this is the residency outside. This is what it looks like outside, but this is the mountains. I want the real, I'm gonna give y'all the real. Now, even though this is a nice barracks building, which I can't admit, there is a problem. The problem is this. You got this, you got this, you got this. And if you wonder what I'm pointing at, these are, these are moths and they are everywhere in these halls, everywhere. The whole row of dead ones over there since you don't want to believe me. But other than that, it's not that bad. We just got to my room, by the way. This is my room. Ain't that cool? Keyless entry? I'll put these down. Hold these on my hand. But yes, this is a keyless entry door. This is actually insane. 
I am here. Kind of is a little later on in the day, but I just moved into this room and I do want to give you guys a room tour, but I'm going to give you guys a little taste of the room. So first, I just want to show you guys this. Um, well, first of all, ooh, slide into the slides. Okay. But these candles are going to get the, they're going to get the moon. They're going to get the mood right in the room always. Always gonna get the move right. If you can smell the aroma, it's amazing. This is the majestic Mount Fuji. And when I tell you, oh my goodness. When I tell you that that smells super, super good, like the aroma, oh my God. It's like you're in a mountain with just nothing but like pure natural oils. I don't know what to describe it. It's like beautiful energies that's just in the air and you're and you're breathing it in. But I have another one. I have actually three in total, but I have only two burning right now. And the second one I have right here is this one. The mahogany teak wood. This one is, I, I, I don't really know how to describe this one. Oh, let me smell, let me see. It's like a, I think the, I think this bathroom is perfect, a, a good smell for this one. It, it's not, not too strong. Um, it's just like a, a mahogany smell. I don't, it's like a woody smell. Not a bad woody sm smell, but like a mahogany wood smell. It really sets the mood for the room. And it's, 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 it's like an essential, in my opinion, to having your room. But since I'm here, I might as well just give you guys a room tour. So let me give you a room tour. I just moved over here from the trap. So I used to stay in the trenches. So you come in. You're greeted with this beautiful, huge, huge uh, refrigerator and actually a big uh, kitchen with a beautiful sink. And to be honest with you, coming from where I came from in the barracks where I was at, this is a blessing. I was, I'm blessed to have somebody who looked out for me to help me get in this room. And also I'm just blessed to be in this barracks. So here we have a timer actually for heat. You turn this around all the time that you have right here. You can put your some pots right here and start cooking. The pantries right here and all this other stuff, all this good stuff going on. You got the ventilator system right here. The roommate before me had left a fish tank. I'm like, man, I don't really use fish tanks, but if you if you want to bless me with some fishes or a fish tank, then I'll take it. But if any of you guys want a fish tank, let me know. I'll sell it to you for the low. I got you. And this is the third one that I have. This is the third, the third one that I have. And this is this, the white tea and sage. See, this one was actually the one I was gonna start meditating to. I was gonna start meditating to this here because I was gonna start getting to my, my meditation process. But that's a different story for a different day. I went back to my old barracks room. I grabbed these couple of things. I got this vacuum cleaner that I'm gonna probably sell too because I don't use it. Actually, before we get there, before we get to over here, I'm gonna take a quick left um, back down this road again. So this is the bathroom, and this bathroom is beautiful. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's huge, a big, big, spacious bathroom. Um, the toilet, the shower. The shower is amazing. Got everything you need. I got my soap, shampoo and conditioner. And um, it just does wonders. It gets the job done. I got my, my little slides right here to my play basketball sports like that. And that's the bathroom. That's me right here. That's me looking at myself in this, these, these big mirrors. Right here, this is the scenery, this is the setup. And um, that is me again, once again. Now we're gonna go down this road. Oh yeah, I got I forgot. I got all these snacks up here. My creatine, trying to get back in the gym, getting swole. You know how that goes. And and here is my room. This big open space. This I keep my PC right here. These are the things that were left over from the roommate uh, lamp. This is my door. You gotta have a card entry to get in here. Um, right now, currently, I'm washing clothes. So that's why you got no sheets. You got my speaker right here and some other little essentials. It's not the perfect, it's not the most clean room right now. I know that, I understand that. And um, I'm going to fix that very, very soon. I'm a very clean individual. I don't like messy rooms, nothing, none of that. None of that going on, I'm not a messy individual. 
I just wanted to give you guys a quick breakdown. But this is the this is the closet. It's a huge closet. Oh my goodness. We got some clothes right here. Some military gear that I'm not gonna use anytime soon because I hate looking at military gear. I got two of my book bags over here with stuff in there, some extra towels, some boxes for paperwork and IOTV and some shoes. Now, honestly, I need some more clothes. I really do need some more clothes because I cannot keep wearing the same three, four pairs of shirts and just white tees. That's just not who I am. So I need more pants and I definitely need some more shirts. And with that being said, that will come. And honestly, I say this all the time. I love doing YouTube because when I tell you that I don't really get a chance to speak. Oh yeah, if you guys can look at this, look at this. These have been everywhere this season. I don't know if you can really tell what this is, but that is a big moth. And these moths, I have not, since I've been gone on this deployment last year, I've never noticed moths. I've never seen any of these moths like around at all. If actually we go out, if we go outside right now, I'm gonna go outside right now and show you what I'm talking about. I've never seen this many moths. Oh, you see how the lights just turned on? Motion sensors. Look at this, look at this. Look at all these. All of those are dead moths. But whatever. So as you guys can see, I have to grab my keyless thing right here. And back in here, watch the lights turn on. Three, two, one. They don't want to turn on? Okay, cool. So that is my quick little room tour. I will definitely show you guys more of this room when it gets more up, up to speed. But this is my brief breakdown of my room. And with this room, again, I have to make a quick shout out. Um, I just want to say I'm thankful for the person. Again, I cannot say thank you enough who helped me get to this barracks room because I was in a bad place mentally and I was in a bad place um, physically as well. Um, and I just want to say thank you for the opportunity to give me a better room and a better space to actually uh, think, get my thoughts down onto paper and to actually make better um, career moves. And I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And um, with you guys, I am going to show you, I'm going to take you guys throughout my day. My day is, it's only three o'clock, four o'clock. It's a kind of a gloomy day. I'm not that much really going on, really, for real, for real. Um, but, you know, I'm going to look at things to do in Colorado Springs, in the area, look at things to do in the area and um, go do some stuff. So I'm going to take you guys on a journey with me. Hey, currently I'm outside. I'm just waiting to get this lady to come open the garage to uh, start tending my vehicle up. Decided that it's time to get my car tinted. And um, yeah, I just can't be riding around in a fishbowl, people be saying. So I can't wait until she gets here, drop this car off, and then <clears throat> get this car tinted. If you can kind of, you can kind of see through, like here, it's, you see how clear it is, but when I get this car tinted, it's gonna be a little darker. Is it bad luck? Like, is it bad luck if it's raining the day that you get your car in it? I need to know the answer. But other than that, I'm just waiting for this lady. She says she's five minutes away. And when she gets here, she's gonna open the garage and we're gonna get this thing started. But yeah. Actually, do we have to talk about the uh, the percentage before I, before I leave first? Yes, I do. Okay. Need to make sure I know exactly what you need for that. Okay. Um, Ooh. And what percent tint do you have in your car? Because I saw when I went past your car, I was like... Yeah, that one starts. So mine already had the battery glass on it. Yeah. So what I did is I did 5% on the back half. That way no one can see it. Oh, wow, that's crazy. And the front window on for you. So that's essentially what the front window is going to look like. Wait, so how hard, is it, how hard is it to like to learn how to do this stuff? Um, It honestly depends. If you have patience, then yeah. it, personally, I just tried for a year and then I was fine. Cry for you. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. It varies from person to person. If yeah. you're very artsy, actually, then you have an easier time with it. That's nice, though. I appreciate that. Got my. Yeah. My. <laughs> I went and just got my tent. 
fixed. I just updated my tent so you guys see what that look like. The progress is coming too good right now. And I'm about to get some food right quick. When you go to Razor King, what you get? Nothing. Basic. You basic. Stop being basic. Do real quick. That's. No, that's actually that's crazy. It's crazy difference. Oh yeah, it's amazing what it can do. And honestly, sixteen really isn't that dark, but it's just yeah. enough that you can actually, you know, feel private in your own vehicle. Yeah. I appreciate it so much. Fifteen percent. Like first off, you don't want to roll down the windows for at least twenty four hours. Right. Uh, secondly, you are so look, guys. I mind the outfit change. I have to to show you guys this car tent. It's completely finished. It's completely done. And honestly, the lady did an amazing job with the car tent. And I'm about to show you what it looks like on the outside. Let me show. Let me show you real quick. Let me show you. Let me show you what the, what she did and how she did. How good she of a job she did. Let me close this door. Close this door. So I take you around this car. This is what 15% tent looks like. If you decide to get get your car tinted, your, your truck tinted, all that other good stuff, and you decide to get 15%, this is how she's gonna do, this is how he's gonna do, this is what it looks like. It, 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 it provides great privacy, honestly. Like the sun is shining, sometimes you can see right through it. Not really right through it, but sometimes you can see through the car, depending on how the sun is hitting it. But other than, other than that, you're not really gonna see much through the car or the truck or whatever you're riding in. It provides a lot of good privacy in there. Nobody really can peep in or pe poke their head into you while you're at the light looking at you like you silly. None of that. And um, honestly, at the end of the day, I just want to say uh, I'm grateful for the car tint. When you look at my car, you really just see your reflection. You look at me looking at you. You looking at yourself looking at me. For real, for real. But the only thing that I have to say is negative um, is that after I got my car tinted and I got that stuff done, finished, the windshield wiper right here, it had snapped off this piece right here. I don't even want, I don't even want to mess with it, but this has snapped off. So I had to give me a, I had to replace this windshield wiper with a new one, but it works just good as new. But other than that, that was the only con. That was the only con to that. But I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside, what the tents look like on the inside. So this is outside currently right now. This is what life looks like right now. Beautiful, the beautiful mountains of Colorado Springs. But let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Oof. This is what it looks like. As you can tell, it has a tint to it. It's, it's not as bright on the outside. So that's the difference. See that? That's the difference. And I want to make this known right now, 100% that every time that I make one of these videos, I can never thank you guys enough for just supporting. If you guys are watching this video and you guys are new, consider subscribing, sharing the video. And to the people who have continuously supported me over the, the past year, year and a half, two years, however long you've been rocking with me, I just wanna say thank you for your continuous support and love. I, I genuinely appreciate the love and support. It it really keeps me going and it keeps me f fired up because I know that, there, that there's somebody out there who's watching the videos and actually supporting me and 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 enjoying the content and it just really it it helps my heart a lot because you know i just it gives me some type of purpose in my life and i appreciate it so thank you guys a hundred percent a thousand percent two thousand percent all that percent because i just 15 <laughs> percent but uh i just i love every last one of you guys from the bottom of my heart man but just make sure you guys spread this channel far and wide and you guys keep liking the videos and keep supporting and keep subscribing and all that stuff. And and with that being said, this is my video for the day. And um, I will see you guys pretty soon. I love y'all.